So what the heck is T-Pak anyway? Is he a rapper? Well, that's a good question. And no, T-Pak is not a rapper. What is T-Pak? Well T-Pak is all about teaching. Let's break it down to the basics. Firstly, the T stands for technology. The P stands for pedagogy. With A. Representing and. So let's skip the A. The C is for content. With the K. At the end standing for knowledge. Let's start with some definitions. So, this technological knowledge. Knowledge of technology. Laptops, software, internet, etc. The next two we want to look at are content and pedagogy. Content knowledge is the stuff we teach. Knowledge of our subject matter. Then, we have pedagogy knowledge. What we know about how to teach, this kind of knowledge is necessary, but not enough by itself for teaching. We need the two types of knowledge used together to teach effectively. Together they are known as pedagogical content knowledge. Or, PCK. Now stay with me. Cause here is where we start to add in the other letters. When we put technological knowledge with our content knowledge, i.e. know how to use technology but within our key learning area, then we have technological content knowledge, or TCK. So, I'm going to look at yet another interplay here. Namely the one between technological knowledge and pedagogical knowledge. When we combine our knowledge of the ways technology can be used in teaching with our knowledge of how to teach, we have technological pedagogical knowledge, or TPK. Now here's where it gets interesting. So what happens when we connect all three into a new set of interconnecting disciplines? Now we have the TPAC framework for teaching. Interconnecting disciplines that utilize each other in unique ways. In the middle is where we have TPAC, the place where all three are being used at once. And on the outside we have the other ways we can teach combining the types of knowledge we have. Traditionally, teachers have looked at content first, then pedagogy, with a consideration for technology. But with the TPAC framework, we consider all three components as peers. Now that we're considering all three types of knowledge as equally important, what does this mean for teachers? Well, I can tell you what it doesn't mean. It doesn't mean that we have to cram every new technology we can find into our lessons. However, it does mean using the technology you had in creative and interactive ways. Convinced to give it a try? Go to TPAC's site and find out more.